What is up guys? Chris here, Bear Market Mining. Thanks again for stopping by. So today I've got a little tutorial video for you. About a year ago, I did a guide on mining cubic on uh, GPUs and CPUs. And now a year later, we're gonna update that for you. There's been some changes, the pools have changed, the way the algorithm works has changed. So now you can actually mine cubic and you can idle mine XMR when that cubic interleave is active. So you're doubling up. So you're basically mining 24 seven on your hardware now for a little bit of extra profit. So we're gonna go through all of that today, show you how to do it on Windows, Hive OS, GPUs and CPUs. Let's get into it. All right, so let's get started. For the sake of today, we are using jetskipool.ai. Now I'll leave the link down in the description for you so you can get to there. This is the main page we're looking for for pool mining with Cubic and XMR. We don't need to do much on this page just yet. Our first thing we're gonna do, click on how to connect. It will take us over to this GitHub right here. So we can see a list, a summary of different things. For the sake of today, we're gonna to start with the Windows setup. The first thing we're going to need to do is download this miner. So we'll click download, which takes us to the very next page and we download this windows.zip file right here. Now this is gonna to need to be extracted. So we're first gonna download that. We're going to open up our downloads page right here right click and click extract all. Extract that all wherever you like and the page will appear. The only thing we're gonna to need to do to start is start this qjetski.bat file. You might need to add some permissions. We're gonna click run anyway and it's up and mining. So very easy, the first thing you're going to need is your wallet address, which I've already got. You're gonna copy paste that and then you're going to use dash worker name. Now this is what's gonna identify you on the pool. So this is a 9950X CPU. So we'll type dash 9950X. Now this is honestly one of the easiest miners I've used. So if you're only CPU mining, if you're only GPU mining, or if you're mining with both on your Windows PC, then you would enter true or false in here as we can see. So we wanna use both for today. Let's click true for CPU mining, true for GPU mining. And now the amount of threads. So this CPU has 32 threads. We wanna leave one left over. That's what the cubic uh, miner does automatically. So I'm gonna enter in 31. If you've got a 24 thread CPU, you could enter in 23. Or if I'm not mistaken, you can just enter nothing and it will automatically do it by itself. Now, as we're recording, I'm gonna lower this thread count down to 20. Let's click enter. We don't need any idle commands. We don't need any idle arguments. Enter again, and we do want to enable XMR mining. So we click true and we're away just like that. Now, after a minute or so, this will start up mining, but we can see right here, we've got our GPU trainer, which says trainer GPU, and we've got our shares, which is around 250 ITs, which is our CPU. So combine about 300 ITs. This is a way in mining on Windows. This is all you need to do. Now to check yourself on the pool side, you can go back to the Cube Jet Ski page. You would click on the bottom, click on this icon right here, enter in your wallet address. Let's do that again. Enter in our wallet address, click select all. And we can see we've got our submitted shares. This is cubic shares and our submitted XMR shares and our total projected on the side. So mining on Windows really is that easy. All right, now let's talk about Hive OS, which I'm sure a lot of you will be using as well. Just as easy on Hive OS, no dramas to set up at all. We go back to that GitHub page on the how to connect from the Jet Ski Pool main page, click on Hive OS, and all the information that we need is right in here. But for the sake of it, I'm gonna take you through it anyway. So if we're in Hive OS, our coin, when we're creating a flight sheet is cubic, our cubic wallet we've already set up, our pool we'll configure in miner, and the miner is a custom miner. So that's all we need in here. 
plus a name. Of course, let's put in cubic plus XMR. Once that's done, you can either create the flight sheet or continue to set up the minor config. So we need an installation URL and this is provided again on the page. So it has an option for solo mining and for PPL and S mining. We're gonna click the pool mining option. You simply copy that, put it into the installation URL and you see the miner name comes up there. Again, wallet and worker name. We actually need a dash in the middle here, not a full stop or a dot. We now need a pool URL. Now. I am just using the same pool URL for all, which I will also leave down in the description there. You can find it on that GitHub page, but I'm gonna make my life a little bit easy here and just copy and paste from one of the other miners. Back into setup miner config, put that pool URL in, apply it and create the flight sheet. So that's the very basics of it. But now let's talk about tweaking this for GPU mining, for CPU mining, or for both. So back on the GitHub page right here, if we scroll down, we can see the GPU mining section. So it says just enter an NV tool or leave it empty and use the Hive OS dashboard. So what that means is in your minor setup custom here, we can use these things called NV tools, which are basically just commands um, that are gonna overclock or underclock our uh, GPUs. Now this would be the command right here, NV tool space dash dash. I'll leave this command down below, but all you would do is you would come into your minor config and put this in right here. So this is just setting our core offset, our memory clocks and our locked core clocks. Or if you didn't want to set it there, you could simply come back into your main section in the minor, click this right here and enter them in manually. I've found this is a better way to do it. So for GPU only rigs, I would manually set them in here. Or once you've started the rig up, run the command to set the NV tool. I have had times where sometimes the overclocks don't take, sometimes they do. But that's all we really need to know for GPU mining. Moving on to CPU mining only now. It's all really, really easy to read in here. So we're just gonna go through it so you can see as well. So for the CPU mining only, as we can see, the amount of threads with the score of zero is all available threads minus one. So I would just let that do its thing. You copy that command and then you would simply paste it in here. Now you'll also need a couple of other commands. You'll need CPU only, yes, and the huge pages count. So that will get entered in here as well. Click enter, CPU only yes and huge pages. Now huge pages is very easy to figure out. It's simply the amount of threads that your CPU has times by 100. So this has 32 threads. So 32 times by 100 is simply 3200 or 3100 if we're only using 31, 31 threads and so on and so forth. Now, last but not least, CPU plus GPU mining. So this is gonna be mining with both at the same time, like this 7950X rig we have right now. So the NV tool or the overclocks for the GPU, we've been through how to set that. And then all you would need in here is amount of threads and huge pages. So different to the CPU mining, you wouldn't have CPU mining only in there. So we'd simply come back, we'd remove all that, we'd paste it, We'd change our huge pages like that back to 3200s, apply, update, and that flight sheet is away. So it really is that simple guys, GPU mining, CPU mining, all combined on both Windows and Hive OS. Now very quickly for a rundown of how this works, both GPU and CPU miners can mine during the cubic window while only CPU miners can mine during the XMR window. So if you have a CPU miner, it will be mining constantly. If you have a GPU only mining rig, it will just be mining during that cubic window unless you set another uh, coin up like Zealous uh, to mine in that interleave window. The GPUs will just stay on cubic and have the power down for the next half of the time. 
So that'll wrap it up, guys. Leave me a comment if you've got any more questions or join the Discord, type in the CPU chat. We can help you through any questions there. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.